Hey everyone, my name is Brian Macon. I'm an MBA and a youth basketball skills coach, and I always teach my kids how important it is to remain positive and how that positivity can help you reach your goals and stay motivated. Join us today on a live with Orlando Magic Ford, Jonathan Isaac, and he's gonna talk to us about the power of positivity and how it's helped him throughout his career. I hope to see you guys soon. Let's get it. So we're, we're here talking to you guys on behalf of Avent Help. Um, we just want to pick your brain a little bit. Uh, we know you're a super positive guy and uh, just talk to you about um, your positive outlook. Uh, we know you're very strong in your faith and um, we just wanted to kind of like pick your brain and, and, and talk to the talk to you and help everyone about um, how, how that really helps you and uh, just spread the, the positive messages. So, yeah. So, I mean, some people don't know uh, Jonathan has had an unbelievable season going and then he had a, a tough injury. But uh, the thing that I loved about it is that less than 24 hours, you was on Instagram saying just how you're going to overcome it, how, you know, this is just a, a hurdle that you got to overcome. So that, that you know, man, me not even knowing you, I knew that you were going to come through that at even better than you were before. So just share with us about, um, you know what I mean, your positive message and, and how you, why would you choose to take that, that route in addressing it? Yeah, absolutely, man. I think, uh, well, I'll start off with this. Jonathan Isaac here, like you said, I play for the Orlando Magic. Um, I think for me at the bottom level baseline, our mindsets are everything. How we perceive ourselves, how we perceive the world, it all comes to our mind, how we think um, and the things that happen to us. So in this specific instance about, you know, being in the, being in the bubble and, and going down with an injury, um, you kind of have two choices, right? Your decision on that, it shows in your actions. But at the end of the day, once you make that decision, you got you to gotta walk it out. So for me, it was, I know, um, like you said, I'm, I'm big in my faith. I know what God has done for me. I know that God is in control. I know that he's kept me up until this point in past injuries. So my faith is there. My trust is in him. So I, I tried my best not to think of it like a, a something terrible that was happening to me. It sucked, but to me, I'm still in my season right now. I go to the gym and I rehab and I continue to get better like I'm like I'm playing. Yeah, and, and I always tell the kids, you know, kids looking up to you and other players that it all starts with your mind, your positive outlook and, how do you approach every single game, every single practice um, with a positive outlook? And how has that helped you like endure the, the lengthy NBA season? Yeah, I think I think it starts with your goal in mind. You know, uh, if your goal is perfection, it's going to be tough. Us as individuals, our goal is to get better. And what happens in terms of a loss, in terms of a win, how is this going to make me better? A lot of the times, it's the, it's the losses that shape you. Say that one more time. <laughs> you learn more from your losses than you do your wins. That's a fact, man. That's huge. Just like you said, it's, it's a long NBA season. Um, just like a, just like life, like there's there's ups and downs with life. There's things that come at us um, that we don't like, that we don't see coming. But people say, you know, you don't. How do you learn from the, the things that happen to you, and how can you use it as positive energy to, to push you forward? Because it's really easy for us to we we see we automatically see the negative. Um, so a big thing for me is looking at the good. You know, not not every situation is bad. Not everything in your life is bad. So how can you focus on the good things in life? and uh, use that to, um, to keep you motivated, to keep you positive. You come off as such a mature young man, you know what I mean? So could you share like three like ways our viewers can improve their, uh, their outlook on things when they're going through a, uh, a negative situation? Uh, I would say a tough situation, I, I would say look on the good. First thing is to focus on the good. But that's it. The second thing is after you look on the good, find ways to learn um, from what it is that you're going through. We all have tough things that happen in life. Everybody's on an even playing field when it comes to things that, that happen that don't go our way. When you can look at them kind of objectively and get out of your head and the emotion of things, say, okay, how can I use this to get better? What has this taught me about myself? I say three, and really the biggest thing for me is, is pray. And for, for me, the, mm -hmm. biggest, the biggest thing in my life is my relationship with God. So knowing that he's in control, he, he has given us a word in terms of the Bible, in terms of how to live, in terms of how to work through situations because Bible characters have gone through um, difficult things and, and, and they, our God is in control ultimately. So uh, I would say those three. Man, that's amazing. Um, I think that's all we got for you today, man. Um, I guess we want to invite like our viewers to share their positivity with their loved ones, spread positive energy, and um, participate in our uh, Advent Helps Friend Check Friday. You know, check on your friends and not just what's up, what you're doing check on their mental health, check how they're doing uh, through this pandemic and through other other things that are going on in this life. So uh, I'm going to leave the last word to Jonathan, man. What you got for us? 
I would echo what you said. A lot of times it's the, it's the people around me that help keep me encouraged. Even when we're going through individually and we don't find the words to say to ourselves to get us off our feet. Again, man, from Advent Help, for myself, thank you so much for uh, taking out of your, your workout schedule. I know you're getting in the gym five, six hours a day. So just thank you so much, my brother, man, for, for being who you are, most importantly, and to uh, just reaching out to us and, and talking about uh, what you're going through and sharing your story, man. Appreciate you, man. God bless you, man. See you, everybody. Right, <laughs> thank you.